Darwin is Australia's northernmost city and our gateway to Southeast Asia. It's a lively cosmopolitan place with a vibrant tourist scene, top restaurants and plenty of great stuff to do and see. The city itself is situated on the shores of Darwin Harbour, a vast tidal system with numerous extensive arms and feeders. Not surprisingly, it's a popular playground for fishos. I have fond memories of fishing on Darwin Harbour, especially during my three years living in the Top End from 2009 until 2012. While it's not always the easiest of waterways to come to grips with, it certainly has its rewards, especially for those willing to put in the time and effort needed to learn its nuances. I experienced some great fishing on and around the harbour through those years, and I was able to share some of this with mates from down south. Everything from Barra to Tuna, Queenies to Trevally, and local highlights <laughs> like those line peeling milkfish. But I guess the catch that burns brightest in my memory banks is the world record fly rod queenfish that I was lucky enough to hook and land there in June 2012. <laughs> it's a record and a personal best that I very much doubt I'll ever beat. In September 2024, I was lucky enough to be invited back to Darwin to fish with a good mate who owns barefoot fishing safaris. It was wonderful to be back out on the harbour, headed for some fly fishing spots, and especially satisfying to be sharing it with fellow fly fisher and friend Steve Peach of the Peachy Fly Fishing Channel on YouTube. We were both there as guests of Glen Watty Watt, whose barefoot fishing safaris has become one of the most respected guiding businesses in the Territory. What he knows these sometimes fickle waters better than most and he was taking us to some tidal flats. All right, good to go. Peachy and I were excited and full of anticipation. So what happens is they've got to come out, like they get right back in there on the high tide. What you hear them going boof, boof, boof way back in the trees. Yeah, yeah. And then as the tide drops, they've got to come out and then they kind of stage on these trees out the front. Get a cast, mate. I'll just have a cast to get my line straightened out. Make sure I've got enough string to play the game. That's the sort of place they love where there's like that yep. the three-way root system thing they'll yeah. get in underneath that. So mate, um, when we spot these fish, we're gonna lead them by a little bit. We want to put yeah. them on, right on the nose. When they're moving between shady patches, let's give them half a meter or so lead. Yep. If they're sitting still beside a stick or one of these little shrubs, we just put it right on their nose. Okay. They'll most likely be just parked up beside these small mangroves and the sticks, branches that are dipping into the water. Gotcha. You've you got to put it right on them then. Okay. Because uh, they're sort of not, not so much actively hunting around a lot yeah, of the time. Just sort of sitting in there, not moving. Yeah. Yep. But once they get cruising, that's when you, you, you do need to lead them a little bit. Yeah, okay. Colour changes are also happy hunting grounds. So you reckon they like to sit right on the colour line and, and yeah, they'll wait be in for it, stuff in the clear? In the yeah. dirty water. Yep. But move in and out of it. They love the corners. Yep. So if you just want a blind cast at a corner. Something coming down yep. the flat under, you know, the, shot, under the leaves. Go for it. Yep, he's on it. Oh, no, you lined him. I did? Yeah. He huh. saw your line in the air. Ah, oh, shit. These fish are super alert and easily spooked in the shallow, clear water. Accurate casts are important too. Look at all those little Trevors in there. Yeah. Huh? You got him. Here we go. Yeah. Not the target species, of course. <laughs> yeah, his mates are trying to eat him as he comes in. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the opposite of a giant trevally, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, it's a start. <laughs> Is it worth sort of peppering the shade here, mate? Peer right in amongst those mangroves. They like to yeah. swim right in amongst them. Oh, there, 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 there. Yep, that Big was barrel. the one. He was on my fly. He oh, was. No, he wasn't <laughs> on my fly. He just came up for a look at us, I think. Yeah, he, he was a good fish. He, he was a nice fish. I hit the motor. That's why I was saying he was sitting in that drain and you yep. can't see him. No, it only there's like five centimetres of milky water in the bottom of them. Mm -hmm. There he is coming out at us, big one. Yeah, oh. yeah he was a good fish. <laughs> was Probably 70, something. 70 or something? Yeah, he yeah. was a 70 something. Yeah. In the, in the clean water before the oh, yeah. burns. I see him. We were getting our shots, but we just weren't converting them. 
<laughs> on other things. Have you seen it? Yeah, this? yeah, you had a go. <laughs> Came and had a crack, but he didn't uh, didn't quite find the point of the hook. Oh, big fish yep. going fast. It's not a uh, Oliver crack. It's a queenie. Yep. Nice shot. Oh, oh, he's on it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's on it again. Go. Yes. Yeah, you got him. <sighs> Nicely done, mate. You wouldn't say that that was a trout strike two times then, would you? <laughs> Stop it. Uh, trout striking. It's a hard habit to break. Nice job. Good stuff, mate. Thank you. Do mind if I have a cast size. out No, no, side? go for it. Yeah, I've caught a bigger queenie in Darwin Harbour. I this have, one, actually, you? yeah. This one would have been good bait for him. <laughs> <laughs> They're great fish at any size and perfect for the fly. This one didn't quite get me into the backing, but it went close. Well, your flies work. Peachy, they're good. Oh, that's good, mate. That's your little squid. Yep. As we got the queenie closer to the boat, we discussed trying to get some underwater footage. Uh, yeah, don't go to underwater just yet, though. You want to take us out? I'll get us into some clean. Yeah, that'll be the go. But of course, you should never count your queenies until they're in the boat. <laughs> they're masters at throwing the hook. Yeah, you can go underwater now, probably. I'll get on Oh, it's all right. He's off. <laughs> I got all that. Not to worry, the day was young and we knew there'd be more chances. It was just a matter of covering water as the tide dropped out of the trees and onto the flats. Worth popping one in there, peachy up where that bit of dirty water is where the... Yep. The drain makes a bend. Yep. A couple of oh. brim up on the flat there. He's a good brim. Oh, yeah. Come back. Don't go up in there, you mongrel. <laughs> He's a nice, nice brim. Shot. Nice. nice cast, mate. He's seen it. He's on it. He's on it. He's on it. Oh. There we go. Come on. Don't play with your food. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. nice one, Steve. <laughs> Fed him. Good brim. <laughs> Got to get him angry. Got him angry. Give him a chunk. <sighs> Little Mr. Pikey. Pikey brim are prolific in Darwin Harbour, especially through the dry season. Not what we we're after, <laughs> but still good fun. Movement up in there. Oh, yeah. This last part of the run out tide is prime, especially around any creek mouths and inflows. Nice. nice shot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting hits. Oh. I think there's a school in there, mate. Yeah, there is a school in there. I don't know what they are. Yeah, more hits. It'll be a little snapper, is it? Yeah. Little Finger mark? Or yeah. Pikey, is it? Or? Golden snapper. Finger mark, yeah. Yeah, right. Golden snapper. Yeah. Yeah, there'll be a few of them. Yeah, there'll be a bunch of those in there. Yep. The bar is love this last branch here. Yeah, right. There it is. We'll finger mark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, he's got mates. Yep, there's a school in there. You usually catch about five of them and then they'll stop. Yep. They talk to each other. <laughs> Kissing cousins of the mangrove jack, finger mark or golden snapper are great fish and they grow a lot bigger than this. Oh, come on. Just, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Might pull the barbs back out on those hooks. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait until you get out a bit further and I'll drop mine in. Right. Yep. Got him. Yeah, they're only little. They're little, aren't they? The first one wasn't too bad. That's no. a javelin, this one. Oh, right. Another species. Yeah, right. Oh, come on. 
Look at them all. Look at them all with him. <laughs> Wonder why they call them grunter. Yeah. Start those on. Here's a finger mark, mate. Yeah. Drop your fly in there. This other finger mark trying to take the fly out of his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot it in there and get yeah, it down. Oh, go. <laughs> oh, they are there. Yeah. They go back into that dirty water. A couple of them, you'd have a sandwich. Yeah. Mm. I'll just push it back a bit so you get a bit better angle. Might be starting to wise up to us. I'll Ooh, go down here so you've got a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, bull from the up corner there. up there, Queenie, you yeah. reckon? Yeah. Yeah. He'll probably come down here. They might have wised up. Yeah. Oh, he's... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got the runt of the litter. What Poor is that? Fella, that's it's another javelin. Little mate. javelin. How cute. <laughs> they're good chewing when they're a bit bigger, those Oh, fellas. yeah. Are they? Yeah, really nice. That had been a fun little interlude, but we had bigger targets in mind. And Waddy pushed us further up the creek. The tide was really dropping out now, forcing bait fish and predators alike out onto the flats. If we were going to score a barra or a threadfin salmon, it'd most likely be in the next 40 minutes to an hour. And sure enough, the barra were already boofing. That's a barra. <laughs> It was starting to happen. Is that salmon? And with the barra and salmon obviously starting to hit bait fish right on the surface, Peachy and I both switched to floating top water fly patterns. This is a really exciting way to fish. Near the bottom of the tide, any small drains and runoffs that are still spilling water into the main channel become hot spots. And this is where we were focusing our attentions. With nervous bait rippling and the odd predator smashing into it, it seemed like only a matter of time. Still there. Oh, look at him. He's gone to the left. And sure enough. He's still there. He's on it. <laughs> Success at last. I'd finally pinned a small barra. Now I just needed to stay connected. Even at this size, they're great fighters on fly gear and they love getting airborne, often shedding hooks in the process. Cute little harbour bar. I think Waddy was pretty keen to see us put one in the boat, and he wasn't the only one. It's important to keep a tight line and steady pressure. Any slack is likely to see the barra shake the hook. They're master escape artists. They're such great fish, no wonder they're an Aussie angling icon. They're just the perfect sport fish in my book. You can't rush things. Yes. You in the hole. Hole. Like a barrel, only smaller. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can see in there, but that little fly is in the roof of his mouth, way back down the hatch. Grab some pliers, what are you? Only a small fish, but they're just beautiful at any size. 
not be a great TV. Yeah. 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 They've been hard to come by. There's plenty there. They're just not always easy to catch. Makes it doubly rewarding when you do get one though. Alright, I'll give him a bit of a swim, send him on his way. It pays to give them a few moments to recover before releasing them. <laughs> Biting down on my thumb. But you don't want to keep your hands in that water Beautiful. any longer than necessary. As is so often the case, once you crack a successful pattern, it doesn't take too long to repeat it. And I was straight back into the action. Yes! <laughs> oh. Another feisty little harbour barra on the surface fly. And maybe even a tad larger than the first one, although not by much. A little bit bigger. Barramundi of all sizes are encountered in Darwin Harbour, but these smaller males in the 40 to 75 centimetre range are by far the most common, especially on the shallower edges that we were targeting. And today they seem to be responding best to a surface fly worked quite violently and aggressively. Don't worry, I'll be trying a bit of that. <laughs> bit of that action. Yeah, a little bit. A centimetre. Here he goes. Not quite as well hooked, this one. Lovely looking fish, and not done yet. They always seem to save a little bit until the end game. <laughs> you can't count them until they're in the net. Pinned on the outside. Ooh. That's why I didn't jump. Oh yeah, he's a little bit better. Cheers, mate. Got him. You mistimed his strike because you ripped it. Because <laughs> I was ripping it so much. Yeah. Yeah, he's a couple of centimetres longer. He'd be getting very close to legal, wouldn't he? Yeah, probably 53. Hmm. Wanna pop that out of there, mate? <laughs> okay. Simple as the flies. Gorgeous fish. They just chrome when they come out of the salt water like this and most of them have that yellow tail quite often with a dark bit at the bottom like that. <sighs> Again, a quick swim to revive the fish before release, but as always, minimising the time I spend with my hands in the water. Nice. Although it cracked a pattern, the windows of opportunity don't stay open for long in the top end's big tides. The run out had finished now, and with it, that frantic interaction between prey and predators. It was basically all over here. So Waddy made the decision to head out into the deeper water of the harbour entrance and see if the newly making tide was carrying any pelagic action. Good mob over there, Waddy. Mm. They spotted him. <laughs> It didn't take us and the other boats long to find birds and feeding fish. A fast moving mixture of small mackerel and queenfish busting up on baitfish. This should be fun if we can get a fly in front of them and then move it fast enough to elicit a feeding response. That was cool seeing them all swimming around like that. Yeah. Oh, look at the oh. mackies just cruising here. Yeah, yeah, they're all right here. Oh my goodness. Double-handed stripping's a great way to generate a bit of extra oh, speed. <sighs> Sight cast and max in 30 yeah. metres. Faster! Faster! Oh. Here he comes, here he comes. That's what he wants, that's what he wants, that's what he wants! I'm running out of water! <laughs> 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 Look at them all there. 
As we were quickly discovering, seeing these fish and catching them are two different things. Yes, yes! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> come on, come on, still eat there, it! Oh, I keep oh, losing that micro second where you yep. lose your life. Yes! Yep. Oh, well done, oh. Peachy! <laughs> nice job. Make it a double. What do we want me to do with this one, Glenn? Just lift oh, him I in? I can lead him for you, mate, if you like. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think you're there yet. Oh, big oh, shark, big shark. shark. Alright, mate, incoming. Oh, I don't think you've quite got him at the leadering stage just yet. <laughs> the presence of a couple of big whaler sharks certainly adds a bit of urgency to the equation. Peachy knows that he's got to get his little Mackie past the taxman if he's going to land it. There he is. Oh shit, there's a shark on him. Big shark. Bring him in, bud. <laughs> it was nice a shark. shark, right up his bum. <laughs> Good size shark, hey, mate. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, the sharks aren't the mackerel. Maybe it's the queen. Even at that size, they pull a bit of string. <sighs> Stay away from his teeth. Here we go. All right, ready. Back in. <laughs> sharks down here too. Yeah, you can see the sharks on the sea and back there. They're waiting for those queens to get hooked up. Yep. Oh, come on. What the hell? Keep pulling out. No fly. Oh, he snapped me. Yeah, yep. bit you off. <laughs> High attrition rate on these things. I reckon. That's three fires I've lost now. Just <laughs> put my fly in, in front of a mackerel and he, he swiped it, it sideways and just cut straight through the leader like butter. Right. Putting a new fly on. Simple streamer patterns work best and yes, we could add a short length of wire leader, but doing so would greatly reduce the number of hits from these sharp-eyed fish. Right Clouds of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> we got that. <laughs> While there's still a few patches of fish busting up, they've largely dispersed. Remember what I said about narrow windows of opportunity? It's time for our last shift of locations before calling it a day. What is taking us back inside the harbour to Burley with some stale bread in the hope of maybe finding a milkfish? Nice. They're here too. These supercharged herrings are a real prize on the fly. And because of regular tourist fish feeding operations in the harbour, they've been conditioned to eat bread, <laughs> which means they're catchable on bread flies. Oh, no, I rejected it. Close to it. Oh, he ate it. Surely oh. he ate it. Oh. Here they come. This is exciting stuff, and Peachy's pretty keen to tick a milky off his fly rod wish list. He's fishing with two flies, a floating bread fly and a sinking one underneath it. Oh, oh he, he raced past yours to... Ooh, what are they doing there? Oh, there was a take? Yeah, I got him. Oh, yeah, you got him. got him. Peachy's on. He will go bat droppings. Yep. You better come up in front, I think, mate. <sighs> This fish is going hard, but something's making me question whether it is a milkfish. There you go. Mm, maybe. He hasn't really started to bite yet. I've got a fair bit of drag on him. Yeah, be careful, because when he takes off... Yeah. Should I back it off a little bit? Uh, seems uh, to be going all right. Probably good enough. You're doing good. All this is happening within a long cast of downtown Darwin. I don't think he's a real big one. No. <laughs> he's might be going to come around the back of the boat there. If 
he comes up and starts feeding on the bread, you know you haven't got enough pressure on it. <laughs> <laughs> Got some mates around him. Yeah. There's a lot of them there just under the surface. That's a golden trevally. It's a golden trevally. It's a golden. It was a milky. Is it? It's a golden. I was going to say yeah, that. Right. Never seen a milky not get into the backing in like 20 seconds. But still, that's good. It's not a bad size gold. It's a nice goldie. It's a good goldie, yeah. Do you want to net him, Sarah? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's what would have come up when you first had your, um, you know, when you first yeah. put the fly out there and something big came up on it? Yeah. Goldy. Digging in a bit now, I'm trying to get back under the boat. Mm, All right, here he goes. <laughs> they pull, don't they? Yeah. Whoops, okay. <laughs> just, net, just netted a peach. <laughs> just as well you got a big net. Yeah. There you go. Pump him. Trevally are such tough fighters, they just don't give in. Going under. <sighs> Try and turn him on his head. You need to wind him a bit more than that. Yep. I'm just trying to That's wear him down a little bit. There you go. Ready, start that? Nice job. Excellent. Nice. Oh, you pull him out of the net, mate. There he is. Mate. There he is. Nice. Beautiful. Good bit of fun. Oh. <laughs> they bloody go hard, these things, <laughs> don't they? They're so good. Oh, you know what? That milky that came up and uh, ate my fly before. He actually snapped the other fly off. Oh, so you just had the... Yeah, right. So I only had, had the, the one fly on. Yeah. You got him? Thank you, mate. All right. There we go. Should we send him back? I reckon. Well, well done, mate. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> Sorry about the slimy hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've still got a little bit of bread left. Yeah. And those golden trevallian milkfish are still there waiting. Here he comes. <laughs> right there, they're oh, frenzy. Looking on, good. Continue on. that drift. Try and <laughs> no drag. Yep. Oh, there's one under it. it might be just dragging Sometimes sideways a little bit. Bread just about runs out. And yeah. You've got the last bit of yep. stuff there. I might be dragging a little bit there. Mm. They're eating everything except Peachy's fly. It's so frustrating. Come on, take it. That's a golden. Yep. Oh, Are they milkies? Yeah. Yeah, they're milkies. Something ate it then, I thought. Oh. That's it. Oh, God. Yep. You got him. Well done. It's a milky. <sighs> I'm not sure what this is. Is it a milky? Yep. I think so. Clear line. Yep. Clear line. That's it. Yep. Clear line. Nice. Pop it. Still on? Still on. Still on. Oh, he's wind coming it, towards me. Wind, 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 wind. <laughs> <laughs> coming through, he's coming ah. through. Buster. Yep. Still on. Let the handle go. <laughs> yep. 
Oh, Nana Milky. Pretty easy up here. <laughs> oh, oh, I dropped him. Oh, no. Okay, now. Let's check fly. Uh, fly's still no, on. No. Just going to check the hook. Yeah, the hook's all right. Damn. Bad luck. Just pulled out. I don't have to get back into this, it's quite enjoyable, isn't it? <laughs> it's nice and relaxed. <laughs> yep. You got that one. Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> He's on! <laughs> Jeez, he smashed it, didn't he? He did. He took it going away from us, which was nice. Oh, yeah, he's zipping around. <laughs> That's the eight weight, is it? Um, That's the eight, yeah. yeah. You're almost at the backing. <laughs> he hasn't really felt the sting yet. No. <laughs> yeah. Put a bit of hurt on him. There, there he goes. goes. Go for the rocks. Do they fight dirty, Glenn? Uh, it was only in a metre of water there, so. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. It is what it is. Ooh. Yeah, it'd be good if he's on the other side of that. <laughs> yeah, there's one goes. stick there. Oh, no. I think he is. Oh. No, he's this side. Oh, oh you're yeah, lucky. Well, just. <laughs> Might not be on the, this side of the next one. Yeah, he is. <sighs> Here he comes. He's coming at us. They are the craziest things. Wind it. Wind it. Wind it. <laughs> he might go straight through Up under the, the boat. Front. So. Coming through. Coming through. fair bit of drag on him. I don't want him to take me, you know, 100 metres into the backing room. No, no, you got to put a bit of head on him. Yeah. Now watch that thumbnail. Don't pull on him too hard. Just <laughs> These are crazy fish. Not much goes harder or faster. You got a reasonable amount of backing? Yeah, yeah, decent amount. Probably got 150 or something. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we're on the lecky. We can go after him if we need to. <laughs> oh, that's him just there, is it? Yeah, yeah. He's oh, only had me right. just into the backing once. Oh, oh that's all right. Yeah. So far. <laughs> Early little, days, yet? Yeah. Only a little. Yeah. Look at them here. Oh, they're mullet, aren't they? Yeah, mm. it's diamond scales. probably won't bother fishing anymore no, after this, 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 this will do us. So the pressure's on you, Peter, you've got to get this one. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I think uh, Glenn's going after him with the motor because I'm going a bit soft on him. <laughs> Not giving him enough Just stick. Drive up beside him and hit him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he might as well take your time. Yeah, yeah. He's, gonna, he's going to the feeding now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> We have to stay outside the sanctuary zone, the zone yeah, effectively. Yeah, just get us out a bit and then yeah. we'll drift back with the wind. He's all right, he's not going to probably go much further than that now. Oh hell, he's got some power. Not bad yeah. <laughs> oh, into the backing again. Oh, I've got that drag wound up too, so... Yeah. I'm putting a bit on him. Yeah, well into the backing now. Mm -hmm. Oh! No! Bloody hook pulled. On a rock. Hook pulled or busted off, I'm not sure. That hook pulled, the fly's still there. The fly's still there. Ah, <laughs> we just cannot take a trick with these milkies. Can't catch them off the shore, can't catch them out of the boat. But I we'll wonder if I... Uh, I wonder if I went too hard on him and sort of pulled Possibly. a hole open in his mouth. Oh, yeah. The flies come out. Oh, you I wouldn't have straightened so. the hook, would you? You, you, had a good, uh, you didn't have too much pressure on him. It was just That's good just luck. Oh. 
It's a wow. bit unusual to put hooks on them. They, um, they've got a pretty good yeah. mount structure. It might have been just lift or something. Yeah. Let's have a look, see if that hook's straightened at all. Bust it off. No. No? Perfect. The hook's alright. It's great. Point's good. Sharp. Oh, I'd wow. Go and buy a packet of barbs and put them back on your hooks, I think. <laughs> Stick on barbs. <laughs> oh, well. That's the, fishing. The milky's got us again, mate. Yes. But we'll. I'm, Hopefully we'll have our uh, we'll, we'll have, have our revenge. revenge. Don't yeah. you worry. <laughs> Good fun. One slice of bread left, and time for Ooh, one bread. last Look shot. Look at that! The last piece of bread standing. Here they go. Oh, oh we got it. Yep. Yes. yes, he ate it. He was. Oh, I oh, pulled out. No, out. Out. he ate that so well. There's still one little bit of crust there. That was the perfect eat. There he goes oh, again. Oh, I didn't get the hook in him that time. Get it out again. Yep. <laughs> but that was it. We were out of both bread and time. It had been a really interesting session on Darwin's doorstep. We certainly hadn't broken any records, but we tangled with close to a dozen species on fly, had a ball, shared a few laughs, and made a bunch of memories. Many visitors and locals alike are surprised to learn that action of this calibre is available so close to the city. But if you go with a switched on guide like Watty from Barefoot Fishing Safaris, it's definitely par for the course. If you're headed up that way, make sure you check out his guiding operation. And if you'd like to know more about this style of tropical fly fishing, including a full rundown of the sort of gear you'll need, check the description and the comments below for all the good oil. While you're at it, here's another couple of videos that I reckon you might enjoy. And if you don't already subscribe to my channel, well, come on, you know the score. <laughs> Until next time, tight lines. <laughs>